Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to the Geek Group. Today we're going to take a look at the VIO camera system. This is their POV camera. It's the Moto 1.5 unit, so it comes with this extra little bit that we'll get into in a second. But this applies, uh, what we're going to talk about applies to pretty much all of the VIO cameras and they're just, they're made of awesome. So we've had this out in the field for a couple days. We've tried it with water. We've mounted to some vehicles. We've done some stuff with it and just beat it up. And we've even gotten it eaten by a dog, which was pretty cool. So yeah, we're going to cover the basics on it and show you guys all about it. Um, what it is, in essence, is two main units. There is a camera unit, which is this little thing right here. This is the camera. And we'll give you a good look at that. And this one you'll see has a big ring on the front. This is the lens protector, and it's a, a piece of acrylic with a big rubber ring around it. This is not a, a standard part. You can get this as an add-on. They're under 20 bucks. And the camera that I've got here is the 70 degree lens. Now that's not millimeters, that's the field of view. So that's, this is 70 degrees out like that. Um, the other camera that we got with it, this is the one that comes standard with the, uh, one, the 1 1.5 system is a 110 degree lens and I've just got its regular lens cover on it which is just a rubber lens cover job there and this is the camera for that. The only real difference between the camera aside from the field of view where this is a wide angle and this is more of a standard angle lens is that this one is tethered on, it's, it's all one piece to the cable whereas the other camera the cable comes off. So you can see there's a little socket on the back. Beyond that, the kits are pretty much the same. They both come with a wireless remote, and the wireless remote has two buttons on it. We'll give you a good look right there. There's a wireless remote, and it's got the clip button and the stop button. So this one does like record and tag, and this one stops it. But you can wear this like on a belt or on an armband or on a visor, on your wristwatch, or anywhere else you need. There's some different recording modes where you can set it to record in such a way where this is like a start-stop type thing or where the camera is continuously looping and you can say, hey, that was a good take and click it and it saves the previous 10, 15, whatever minutes and you can change that. So it's pretty cool. As far as mounting systems, this is all covered on their website so I won't go into too much detail on it, but you can hang this camera on anything you can imagine from weapon systems, like the, the standard little mount here is for, designed for a Picatinny rail, which a lot of standard weapon systems have, and that's really cool. And it's got, it's bound on top with a little O-ring set up there. And you just pop the O-ring off, slide the camera in, and then this mounts on your Picatinny rail, just like a scope mount or any other tactical weapon system would go. There's helmet mounts, there's magnet mounts, there's Velcro mounts, there's, there's screw-on mounts, there's tube mounts, and you, you can put this camera on anything you can think of. Don't worry about it. There is a way to do it. Most of them come standard in the kit. If you can't find it in the kit, you need to be a much more creative person. You should, probably shouldn't be working with professional video anyway. But yeah, that's the mounts. Um, it also comes with software CD and all the standard cables to do whatever you want to do with it, and that's all the basics there. All this is packaged in a nifty little case, which is your standard little flip case. It's ballistic nylon, it has a zipper, everything you need to know. The thing that separates the Moto set from the other set is this box, which is the power supply. And as you can see, I haven't even opened it yet. And it's basically a 12 volt vehicle adapter system. You can hardwire it. You can, there's a, but these guys at VIO are awesome. They are big on flexibility. These are people that understand life in the real world for those of us that do professional video. And you've got here, you've got a cigarette lighter adapter. Here you've got a ring terminal adapter so you can hardwire it, like you could hook this right to the battery on a motorcycle without any problems and just some little creative electrical work and you could wire this into your vehicle's electrical system without any problem. They both have a standard little plug here, two pin plug so you can't get the polarity wrong. This is simple and there's a little inline fuse mount for that so that's cool. The other one is a cigarette lighter. Remember when vehicles came with actual cigarette lighters? Now it's just an accessory socket, but you know, some of us miss the real lighter. But yeah, standard cigarette lighter and a plug, and if you're feeling really bored, you could plug this into that and they should work. Or not. No, that'll work. No, that won't work. So you can't plug these into each other. But you can plug them both into this, like you should. So they've got the standard little plugs, and this just goes right in here. 
You can totally plug those into each other. That's going to bug me now. i got to try that. Do not try this at home. Yeah, see? Ha! I rule. You can plug them together. There you go. There's your proof. But yeah, these are your input side. Here's your output side. And this is real simple. This just replaces the back on the deck unit. It's got the, the same funny little shape to it as the back of the deck. And this just mounts right in. And there's a screw hole on the back which doesn't come on the standard deck. So this is a bit of an upgrade because with the screw hole, this allows you to mount it on, that's a standard quarter 20 thread right there. You can see it. And that'll just work. So you can use this, you can mount this on a tripod if you want. So that takes us into the deck here. Let's get rid of some of this stuff and we'll get into the deck. Now this is the brains of the operation is this right here. And it's just super rugged, it's great. But it's not as rugged as it could be, and we're going to get into that. The way this works is this is a portable digital video recorder. It's powered by AA batteries, and to get to them, you just pop open the back, grab your favorite implement, whatever you have handy, and the back cover pops right off, and there's your batteries. Now, it takes four AA batteries, which just pop in the standard way, and if you want to run with the vehicle power thing, you take the batteries out, and you would put this in, so the cable goes down and it'll just work and it'll just clip right in. It replaces the battery cover. So we're going to put this back on. And I can understand why this doesn't have a threaded fitting. It's because this has the room to allow it to go in, whereas this doesn't. So that makes sense there. Now, in looking at the unit on the front, you've got buttons which are not labeled and it would be better that they were. The only ones that are labeled are the, the bottom four. So you've got play, record, menu. That's what the little thing here means is menu and then your power button on the bottom so I was able to figure this out and program it and set it all up without even touching the manual it's really simple um, but just for those that are using it for the first time the top three buttons are software assignable buttons and they're for navigating through things in the menu you'll understand when you get there it's very similar to how a cell phone works where what you're doing is at the bottom of the screen so cool to hook this to any of the cameras you just grab the end of the camera cable and you line it up on the front. It's keyed. It's a very serious hardcore plug and socket assembly. But you just put it in, turn it gently until it lines up, and you'll feel it drop in place. And once it goes in, then you bring in the, the tightening ring right here. And you just tighten that down. And it's waterproof, shockproof, dustproof, midgetproof. These things, I'm pretty sure after a nuclear war, these and cockroaches are what we're going to be left with. So. They're pretty hardcore. It's got a ferrite bead on there, and then it takes you down the cable to the camera head. And this is the whole system. This is all you need to make it work. And you just hit the power button, and you're recording video. Works better if you take the camera thing off. Now, on the camera itself, it's just a little anodized housing, and each camera is marked with the VIO logo, a number, which is the um, degree separation of the field of view, and on one side of the camera housing is a big stripe. You'll see this, this stripe here. Uh, that stripe's really important because it's really easy to get this wonky and not know which way is up. The stripe is up. That's all you need to know. And with that, you can mount this on anything. You can just grab one of the mounts, pop it in, hook it up to whatever you're doing, and you're good to go. You can mount the cameras just about anywhere. That's the idea. You can mount these under a car. They, the idea is that this is a super rugged, super tough military spec camera. They can mount these things on shotguns and rifles. These are the cameras that you see, like when guys are going skydiving and they've got the little wearable camera. They got one of these on their helmet, all different angles. They mount them on their boots and stuff. You'll, you'll see them all over the place once you know what to look for. You'll see these mounted on the bottom of race cars that drive for like, you know, autocross racing, across a desert and stuff like that. I mean, they'll, they crash cars with these on them all the time and the car is totally destroyed and the camera's fine. So they're really cool. They're super, super rugged. However, there are some limitations. <laughs> 